This is my review on Star Wars The Last Jedi. So, uh, Finn wakes up from a coma. He's now a pussy again. And now it's back to square one where he was in the first installment of The Force Awakens. Of his story. So... Isaac is basically identical to set in a different environment with different stakes and higher stakes. Uh, for Finn's character story, his arc, you know. He goes from being a coward, just want to get away from the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the First Order and, and end up wanting to do the right thing and join the Rebels. You know, of course, when that was his character arc in the first one, that's why he did pick up the lightsaber and not decide not to run away from his friends instead of right away when he decides to fight on and face his enemies head on. Because, you know, so basically the kind of retconning that also. And, uh, he gets tased and trying to escape, you know, the dude. And as I find was falling with this Asian girl that really is honestly kind of dumb and annoying. But then again, so is Finn in this one. So they kind of connect on the dumb, annoying levels. So Ray. Uh, meets up with Luke, and Luke throws away his life saying, saying Ray that he fucks the Jedi Code. And doesn't give a shit about the Jedi Code, saying fuck the Jedi Code, and fuck the Jedis. And the past bloodlines of the Jedis. Because they fucked everything up and did nothing except they sit on their fucking asses, and they're a bunch of assholes, he basically tells, while shunning the Jedi name. To Ray and teach him all about how things were back in the day, and if they exist, they would want them because they make things worse. They make things in, in versus making things better. This is more harm than good because they're assholes and lazy and kind of clueless. So, they which he's hundred percent right on. They are assholes and do kind of suck in terms of being the heroes if we. Based off what the uh, prequel trilogy showed us, you know. Uh, that they don't really do nothing. This kind of just judgmental assholes that join a cult. And don't really do the right thing to say they're doing it because they're entitled to it. So, he's just calling the Jedi the problems with the Jedi Order. And that there's a flaw in field order that needs to die. It needs to be forgotten about. So that's why he decides not to train Rey into becoming another Jedi, a full Jedi. Because the Jedi Order needs to die. In the Jedi ways. And it's going to change. Let the past die. It's basically become this mo model of this movie. And, uh. Yeah, uh. Meanwhile, and also, Rey's communicating and also. Flirting with Ben Kenobi. I yeah, which is or if it's Ben Solo solo. Yeah, Ben Solo, I think. Anyway, Hansel's son. And uh forming uh, some sort of brother slash mentor slash romantic relationship, I guess. You know, I think that this the you know, I, a lot of people say they were like brothers and sisters, but I didn't get that. I just thought they were forming some sort of mentor slash romantic relationship slash unhealthy toxic relationship. But I, I don't know. So this and so yeah. And Luke interrupts them of them bonding and trying to. Uh, we're trying to turn Ben to the against the dark side into uh, light. So for all the children to continue that from the last one. <sighs> oh, 
while Ben's trying to lob his head. Who goes by Kylo Ren's? His Sith name. That's his Sith name, well. So. He ends up ditching his helmet. And smashes it. And destroys it and ends up ditching the helmet. And now it's a new helmet look. Okay, so, uh, still playing obsessed with his grandfather, Doc Vader. And, uh, to one health level. And, uh, Ray believes it's still good in for some reason. You know, by the end of the week, she seems to give up all hope and see him as a lost cause. After he tries to kill her multiple times in the Rebellion too. And fails miserably at it. After he kills his master. And takes over his master's job. As the supreme leader. And becomes the new supreme leader. And kills. His master. His old master. Only just to get ready. Form a new life. So he turns it down. Successfully in them. Using the force against each other. And one of them trying to play tug of war over a lightsaber for some reason. And then end up where he ends just playing after the he's Ben's unconscious because uh explosion happens, so yeah. Mm. Oh and uh layers and now in a coma after using the force to save her life. After getting shot in the space, so we know knows can that she is really does have the force that was kind of a four way idea in the third and some of the original trilogy. So yeah, and uh, so they find put closure on that. So and uh, she's now coming out purple hair lady that I'm going to call that's also going nicknamed her dumbassly. The size it would be good enough to, to tell uh, half of the people on her team, uh, on her crew, and go behind the back and not have it, and it's expect not to have the backs fire in her face. Which the opposite happens, of course, because she didn't tell the end game plan, even when the hothead captain pilot was. <laughs> You know, he was, yeah, he's a hothead, but he was asking what's the end game, what was the plan. And she said, This is the plan, and the plan is you fuck off. The plan is you fuck off, and this is the plan. So basically, uh, leaving the defense systems, the escape pods, all launching all the escape pods and uh, making them all defenseless against the First Order. But it turns out she had an angle that she didn't tell anybody or didn't tell half the crew. And that's why you have to turn on her and, and, and follow uh, the uh, hothead captain. In order to buy Ray and Finn and his new friend time. And then Leia wakes up for a coma and just blasts the hothead. For some reason, I don't know why she had to use a blaster. Why can't she just use the force to put him asleep? It just makes no sense. I don't know why she, cause she does have the force. Well, again, that is lazy writing. And this is a lazy writing plot. And that's majorly convoluted storytelling. And without telling a coherent story at all. The only coherent story that they tell is the. Uh, of is involved the stuff involving Luke Skywalker, and uh, yeah, purple lady decides to sacrifice herself to save the rebellion after they getting uh, fired on, and goes light speed into the ship to smash the Force Order ship that's firing at the rebellion. So. 
the rebellion all meet up, including Ray and Finn and his new friend, meet up on the same planet together. While Ray's driving, stalling, buying time, and helping out with the trying driving the Millennium Falcon, uh, and destroying a bunch of robots, uh, pilots in uh, while dodging the attacks, which. Uh, in the meantime, uh, the army is going, going after this giant red beam of this laser that's supposed to destroy the one way to get in and out of this fortress that with the real buildings in. And, uh, and if it goes off, and, uh, films when we make a whole sacrifice, but his, his, uh, stupid Asian friend. That he is now wants to be his girlfriend because she just wanted to kiss him and save his life while doing the rebellion in the process. This when Finn was going uh was going to uh save they be the hero. Uh she makes a speech about love and that's how we're going to win with this love and shit. And that I saved you, you're welcome. Well, Dooming the entire rebellion. Because she finds Thin Hot. I guess. So. That means they're all fucked. Because of that Asian person. That's now Finn's girlfriend. So uh. Finn's confused wondering what the heck she should want to be his girlfriend. And obviously confused doesn't know when she just started so. Oh, and uh, this guy takes off with the first order. With the first order, after backstabbing, after helping, after getting caught with Finn and his girlfriend, and sells him out in the f rebels. Also, so yeah. Then he's never seen again. This movie, so. So, this one all hope seems fucked. Luke decides to come out of hiding and come to face Ben. Uh, Solo's son, you know? And also Leia's son. That's now not, no longer, that's no longer Princess Leia, but now Major Leader. Or Commander Leia, you, you know? So, he takes all fire from these weapons and a single scratch on him, just struggling off some dust. And so, Ben decides to face him head on. And he's doing this just to buy time for the rebels to escape. Uh, the hot haired guy figures out, and they'll follow him after. Looking at Leia for a second, and he she asks, "What are you looking at me for? Follow him. He is good as you are." Like listening to listening is God, just basically. So, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Ray's unblocks the uh, space. The that's that's the the thing. The rock box is blocking the rebels' way with the force. And gets them all out of there, the rebels. And the rebels have left the planet and abandoned the planet by now. Yeah. Who are you talking to, Dad? Yeah, yes, Dad? I never said Dad. Sorry. I was talking to the phone. So, fuck. Fuck! Jake, I thought you said dad. You just tricked me. I can't remember where I was. Where was I? In the review of Last Jedi. I can't remember, Dad. I'm sorry. No, no, that's, no, don't. You don't just get to brush this off. You gotta tell me where I, where I left off. 
Focus. Right, the Last Jedi, not the Return of the Jedi. Last Jedi, the one from 2017. You said something about you were saying talking about uh, uh, the, the Latino character. No, it wasn't. I was talking about the Rebels. Dad. Yeah, I'm all screwed up. I'm sorry. You don't, don't help, Dad. I'm trying to think. To you me. can't help, obviously. Stop trying. I have to start over again where I go. <sighs> Fuck. Can't go back to that part of the video. I'm recording now! What are you talking about? That's not how it works. You can't record and rewind the video at the same time, Dad. Dad? I said I'm sorry, Jake. No, do you understand? Yes, I do. What do you understand? I didn't know you were still recording. That's why I was asking, where was I? Dad. Okay. Why do you, when do you ever heard me say, where was I after I finished recording? I didn't say you were done recording. Ask me. Answer me. Never. Okay, so maybe you should stop then. And sh shut up. Sorry. But you should, Dad. Because you're not helping. I'm not you're not helping. Okay. So Rebels gave. Fuck. I almost want to want to continue now. Thanks, Dad. So the Rebels fucking escaped. And it turns out Luke was never on the planet. He was just using the Force uh, himself as a prediction himself on the planet. And he has a heart attack and comes one with a voice. And Kylo Ren's the rest of the force so I'll lose. After finding out the already lose and Luke told him and that he marks he says he won't be the last Jedi. So yeah. This gets a zero out of fucking ten. It's a zero out of ten this movie is. You know, I would say I enjoyed reviewing this, but that would be a lie because Dad fucked it up. By getting me distracted. So, I will say though, I do like this. Can you not make noise now? I will say I like Luke's character arc of how he becomes a how a person. He's now a bitter old man, and uh, with the help of his old master, Yoda, helping him out, burning down the all of the. Jedi scrolls and books. He has a change of heart and realizes that he needs to be whatever he wants expects him to be, and ends up uh, feeling relief at the end of his life. And last show we see him looking his, into the sunset. Kind of so it's good, not not bad job paying homage to the past of him looking to the sun sun the the sun. The dawn of the sun going down, like you know how he did in the original trilogy, and uh, you know wondering what his purpose is, and uh, so in this one he's basically realizing his purpose, and he's really happy. So uh, it's kind of the reverse of that we saw in New Hope. So yeah, it's nice seeing. I say the only consistent narrative in this movie. Despite there's a lot of inconsistent narratives and a convoluted mess, is one good thing that came out was Luke Skywalker, because he really does have a good character. And my character does do a good job of performance. I used to presume as as Luke Skywalker, as old man, 
before he gets killed off of a high from a heart attack. So, yeah, that's the one good thing I do like about the movie. Everything, the stuff involving Mark Hamill is in the eyes of Skywalker. It's, yeah, you know, I do like his character arc. Uh, I just wish it wasn't a really crappy, convoluted mess of a movie. And so, yeah, that's why you have a 0 out of 10. I think that's enough said.